This is Beer Reviews, hope you're doing really well. It's Saturday and it's time for a beer review. I haven't done a beer review for a week now. Um, I've had things going on that have just taken all my, all my focus, brain power and everything else and I've, I've had to deal with those. So I haven't been able to do any reviews for a week and it feels like, feels like weeks and weeks since I've done a last review, but it's only been a week. So anyway, we're back with a review and we're back with a new one from Tesco's. There's a few new beers gone into Tesco's, which has caused some controversy. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the controversy. I just want to drink beer and review beer. I do support local independents. I do support breweries directly. I buy my beer from various places. Um, so I haven't got any real thoughts as such about Cloudwater releasing some beers into Tesco's, but yeah, there's been some controversy about Cloudwater doing it. Um, but like I say, I'm not going to go on about that. I just wanted to see what the beers are all about, see what the beers like, uh, and review it for you, you good people. So the one that we're going to be reviewing today is the, as I say, new in Tesco's Cloudwater Soft and Juicy Session IPA, coming in at 4.5% ABV. And uh, looking at all these cans that have come out on this Tesco range, that they pretty much all say the same on the back. Um, I don't know if it's worth reading these out. They pretty much all say the same out of all the three cans. Uh, I'll read this one out and then I won't bother reading them on when I review the other ones. Um, Cloudwater is a brewery driven by innovation and impact. This beer represents not only several years development of scene change in hazy beers, but also our ambition to use our platform for good. Um, and then there's a little bit about the IPA, but they're pretty much a word for word the same on the other one, so I won't read them all out. At the end of the video, after I've reviewed this, I'll show you the other ones that are in Tesco's. There's two from Vault City, this four pack from Cloudwater, but I'll do the review first, and then if you want to stick around and watch that, you can. If you just want to watch the review, then you can leave after the review. So let's crack on with this a soft and juicy session IPA coming in at 4.5% ABV. I just realised I haven't turned these LEDs off. They sometimes mess around with the camera. So let's turn them off. Just so they're not messing around with picture quality, etc. And she goes. Whack that all in there. Pop that on there, hopefully you can then see that. There it is in the glass, looks nice in the glass, doesn't it? Nice little head, quite big bubbles, don't expect that to hang around for too long, but looks nice, nice sort of orangey colour, certainly hazy, isn't it? Can't see through that. Orangey colour to the top, moving into a bit of a lighter colour at the bottom, almost lemon colour at the bottom, so let's see how she sniffs. That smells good. God, that does smell really good. I don't know why. I was half expecting this not to smell good, but it does smell good. And I don't know why I was thinking that, because cloud and water make great beers. Really tropical. Proper punchy tropical aromas for a 4.6%. It's grapefruit. It's almost melon. Citrus. Quite bold on the citrus. It smells really good. Let's see how she tastes. Cheers, everybody. Some more. For four point six percent, that's pretty good. That's very good actually for four point six. Nice mouthfeel. Almost got a creaminess to it. Got good carbonation. A nice pine hop, hop bitterness on the back. There's a bit of pepperiness to it. And it's just tropical fruits. The tropical fruits don't sit around for too long, but it is quite bold initially. It's quite an initial punch, but it, the bit that lingers the most is that hoppy pine bitterness. It does taste very fresh. I know these are quite new in. Um, it does taste rather fresh. Uh, but yeah, it's good flavours, good tropical flavours. 
but it's certainly got a peppery finish to it. A peppery, piney, hoppy bitterness, which is really nice. I really like it. It's got sweet, it's sweet on the front. It's definitely got sweet fruits on the front. It's definitely sort of mango-like on the front, almost papaya levels of, of fruit, maybe even guava. It's got that sort of delicate sort of guava strawberryness to it, but very, very slight on the front. And in the middle, it is lots of the, the normal typical flavors you'd expect. Certainly very tropical, very citrus as well. It's actually really good. Cool, I mean, I just burped there. Now, it was peppery. The burp was peppery, which I don't mind. I quite like that. And for a session IPA at 4.6%, that's decent. That really is decent. I like it. Would I recommend it? Yes. Yeah, that's good. The flavours don't hang around for long. I think if it was a big ABV one, they would, but they don't hang around for long, um, which kind of makes you want to keep drinking it, which kind of does then make it a good session IPA. Would I session it though? Would I session that? I don't think I would. I think I think I might get a bit bored of it after a couple, and it feels like it's got heartburn indigestion <laughs> to it. It's got that. I can tell very quickly whether a beer is going to give me heartburn indigestion, and that's got that feel to it. So would I session it? Probably not. But it's an enjoyable beer. Mm. I like it. It's a good beer. So that's the beer review done. So if you want to chaff off, feel free. <laughs> Thank you for watching. But I'll show you the other beers. I'll show you what else is available in Tesco's at the moment. So we know about that one. Um, I can't remember how much that was. I've got a receipt in my pocket. No, rubbish with receipts. I think one of these out of the three I'm about to show you, were, one of them was 350. Um, I can't remember which. I think this was three pounds. So they all look quite similar, really. Uh, the other one, Cloudwater Soft and Juicy IPA. That's got Soft and Juicy written on it. That's the Session IPA. This is just a Soft and Juicy IPA coming in at 6% ABV. Again, the writing on the back is pretty much the same as on the other can. Uh, I'm going to try and get all three of these reviewed over the weekend because I've been really off the reviews and I need to crack on. So I might as well knock out these three. So yeah, Soft and Juicy IPA, 6%. Uh, then we've got a bold and punchy double dry hopped pale coming in at 5%. Um, one of these was £3.50. I can't remember which one it was, but one of them definitely was. The others were £3. Oh, but there you go. There it is. There's that. And then there's the Cloud Water beer with big ideas four pack. This was £10. And I didn't realise when I picked it up that one of them's an alcohol free. Uh, which I was, <laughs> I was a bit disappointed about, to say the least. Um, but we'll see what it's like. We'll review it. So I like to pretty much call this the diversity box because they're working with breweries. It's a collaboration box with Cloud Water and a number of breweries. Um, give you an example. One of the breweries they're working with on here is uh, Queer Brewing. And this is all about um, representation for LGBTQ plus people using beer as a vehicle for social change. Good. I like that. And then we've got Eco Brewery. Uh, they aim to inspire people from minority groups. And uh, then we've got Good Karma, which is all about mindfulness and wellness and positivity. All good with that as well. And Rock Leopard Brewing is on a mission to provide that privilege is a platform which can and should be used for good. Absolutely agree with that. So it's a bit of a diversity box and I'm all for diversity. We all live under the same sun. Um, I don't care what sexuality you are, what race you are, whatever you are, what religion you have. Um, we, like I say, we all live under the same roof. And if beer can bring people together, happy days. I'm all for that. So I will show you these on a, another video. Uh, I'll get those out, but I will be reviewing them anyway. And then we've got two from Vault City, two sours. And if you watch my channel, you know I absolutely love a good sour. Uh, we've got a 5% raspberry sour. Uh, not much really to talk about on the back, um, a little bit. The raspberry sour, 5%, and this one I'm definitely going to be reviewing this evening is the tropical sour coming in at 5.2%. So tropical sour, Vault City Brewing, they make some cracking sours. So they're in Tesco's and they were £3 each as well. So yeah, some good beers in Tesco's, and I think they've got some more coming as well from what I understand. I certainly 
from what I gather, from what I'm seeing and hearing, as you probably all are as well, they've got some other breweries coming into Tesco soon. Um, some people aren't happy. As I say, I'm not going to go into the controversies of it all. I buy my beer from all different places and so certainly support local as well. So there you go. That's my little video done with my review of the beer. And I'll see you on the next one. Sorry it's been so long. Take care, everybody. See you soon.